healthcare is a critical service that we all rely on. And when the need to use healthcare services arises, we have an expectation, or at least a hope, that there will be no delay or disruption. It's the critical nature of these services that unfortunately makes the entire sector a prime target for cyber criminals. Whether a data breach or a ransomware attack, or possibly both, denying patients of care could have fatal circumstances. There are many examples of cybersecurity incidents in healthcare, such as the ransomware attack on Common Spirit Health in October of last year. Common Spirit is the second largest health system in the US, operating 140 hospitals. While this breach didn't cause life-threatening results, over 600,000 patients were adversely impacted and remain a target for identity theft, given the type of data that was exposed. In December of 2022, Central State Medical Center in Freehold ceased admitting patients due to a ransomware attack and data breach involving 617,000 patient records. The attacks on healthcare can be costly and just seem to keep coming. A ransomware attack on Scripps Health is reported to have cost the organization $113 million, and that's before all the lawsuits have been finalized. A study led by the University of Minnesota public health team looked at incidents over a six year period from 2016 through to 2021. They found that ransomware attacks doubled and nearly 45% of attacks disrupted the delivery of healthcare services, with just under 9% leading to a disruption of more than two weeks. Shockingly, the study found that only one in five healthcare organizations reported being able to restore data from backups. Incidents such as these often start with human behavior being exploited. The cybersecurity infrastructure security agency suggests that 90% of all cyber attacks begin with phishing. This highlights the need to create a cybersecurity awareness among employees on the risks posed. I recommend adopting a policy requiring cybersecurity awareness training more frequently than the once a year cyber risk and liability insurance policies require it. Raise the bar and create a program that invokes different approaches to awareness, be it training, phishing simulation, or even rewarding employees when they spot a unique phishing email or other attempt to get their logging credentials. If you're interested in talking about cybersecurity awareness training, I recommend reaching out to one of my ESET colleagues or visit ESET.com to learn more.